Oh boy, it's the next episode. I we gotta stop meeting like this. Oh jeez, that's spooky. Okay, cool. I was hoping that I could never win. Oh my gosh. Hey, fake wall. We like to see it. So, let's see. What have I been up to? Oh my, nice. Cool. We actually get cool stuff on this episode. So, I, um, like, a really long time ago, got, uh, my grandfather actually got me. Because we're both, okay. Ah, uh, let's go all the way back, you know, during this story. So, me and my grandfather are both kind of similarly minded. Um, we're both kind of tinkerers to some degree. And for me, that was always, like, Legos, uh, like an erector set at most. But, um, him, like, after he retired, he would, like, make pens and stuff, just because he has nothing else to do. Uh, but a little while back, he got me this kit. Um, I don't know if I'd even really say that it's a kit, because it's not, it's not, like, all-inclusive, the way that you would maybe expect of a kit. Uh, I'll explain, I guess, what I mean by that. But, um, basically, these are gonna, of course they do. I have to walk off, don't I? Ah, uh, this is what I get for not saving the game, like every other time. I really should have learned my lesson after last episode and saying that I should save the game after every screen. Anyways, so it's, um, it's a book, right? How the heck am I supposed to get past that? I actually just drained, like, a couple lives into trying to get past that for no reason. Hmm. Well, now I'm confused. Alright, well, you know what? Uh, we'll do the best, next best thing. I'm just gonna save the game right before getting here and then do a bunch of stupid crap until it works. Remember, kiddos, throwing shit at the wall until it sticks is a great idea. I actually don't know what I'm supposed to do here, because if I jump on it... Okay, cool. I was right the first time, and it just didn't work. I love my inputs. I love my inputs so much. So, my grandfather got me a... It's a book, actually. Um, let me see if I remember the guy's name. I think it's, like, James Stuart Randolph? Or Rudolph? Or Joan? It's John... God, I literally have it sitting right here. And I don't really have the... Oh, boy, that sucks. You know what, just because I can, I'm going to load from here. Um, that was a bad idea. You know what, do I need... Yes, I do. No! Okay. Just because the axe is right over here anyways, I'm not going to worry about the freaking getting the... Um, I'm not going to even think about getting the, the knife. Just because there are significantly better weapons in this game, and one of them is sitting right here. Ha ha ha! Um, it's John something Rudolph, and I really wish I remembered the guy's name, because the book is literally sitting on my bed right now, in pieces, and, um, it's, it's a paper clock, which is just, like, anything I could ever ask for out of a, a gift. For one, I like keeping time and clocks in general, and, um, two, I like making things with my hand, and for three... For a very long period of time, I was, like, really into origami. Um, and I would include now in that assessment, to be honest. But, um, you know, I, I really haven't made anything in, in origami for a while, so I don't know if it's really, um, you know. I'm not going to sit here and be like, I'm an origami master at current or anything. But it, it's something that I enjoyed for a really long time, so I mean... I get to do all freaking three things. I'm such a moron. I'm super stupid and dumb. I'm a big dumb idiot. I'm a big stupid idiot head that does stupid things and doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm a stupid and dumb moron idiot. Oh my gosh. Um, I click the load button instead of clicking the start button like a big dumb moron. I should uh, literally just like immediately cut to the start of the boss fight instead of keeping this bit going for longer than it's welcome, but you know, I'm just so good at what I do. Anyways, save, not load. So, I 
this, th th he got me this a really long time ago, and I mean a really long time. And I only really just recently got around to actually fiddling with it, which is sad, because it's actually really good. I think I'm just going to take this guy out. That went a whole heck of a lot better than I would have expected. Anyways, oh, great. Here I am down at three health. That's got to be wonderful. Why would I... Uh, this is why we saved the game. Hey, look, it's me down to one life. I'm just going to save the game anyways, because why the heck not? Why would I do some of the stuff that I do? Good question. Why huh, Why do we do anything? Uh, let's think about that for a let's, uh, let's, let's really... Uh, Oh, cool. Oh, my gosh. That's interesting. I gotta say, it's pretty cool that the Super Nintendo can handle this. It's pretty cool that I am stupid and dumb. But I... Uh, for one, I have a couple questions for Mr. Rudolph, uh, the red-nosed reindeer. Um... Uh, there are some indicating points where you're supposed to, like, shove beads into stuff. Um, which, I mean, I don't have a problem with that. I'm a professional at shoving beads into holes. Um, but, uh, it's for the purpose of, like, having a bearing between axles and stuff bearings for axles and all that, moving axles so that it doesn't wear the paper down and cause the dang thing, the clock, to stop working, which I'll be honest with you all, I'm probably going to use it more as a kinetic sculpture to sit on my wall than an actual timepiece, but, um, oh great, this is going to be super fun with the uh, starting whip, not that it doesn't take them out anyways, I don't have a problem with the... Uh, I want to die. You know what I should do? Save the game at this point instead of like waiting to get knocked off or doing anything because I'm an intellectual. Did I just hit one of the Medusa heads with like the cross? The cross guard? The guard of the whip? Also, isn't it a bit wacky that this whip has a guard on it? Like, I'm not really one to judge. I'm not a medieval weapon connoisseur or anything, but eh, it's a little weird. Um, but anyways. Oh, boy. That's not very wonderful. Cool. That's epic. I guess I wasn't supposed to do that. But anyways, I've been fiddling with this clock book. I've gotten... Oh, let's see. There's like 120 or so parts. And I've gotten through part number 30... I'm on number 37. Oh boy, we're doing real rot rotary stuff here. Oh boy. Cool. That's super rad. Oh, I'm at full health. That's actually really nice. And of course... But, um... Let's see, what was I saying? The, uh... Uh, I'm on, like, the best part where I have to, uh, take... I have to make the teeth for this, like, hundred tooth gear. Um, and it's all paper, and if I get it slightly out of alignment, the clock will not work. So I'm being very careful with alignment here. And I don't have any pins or anything to, um, line it up. Also, I forgot that I was talking about, like, indicators earlier. So... There's two different types of pinholes that are indicated. One that requires a bearing because there's like stuff, and one that doesn't because there isn't. Um, and I wonder if there's a way down here. That almost seems like it would be the case. Haha. <laughs> but, um, it, it says in the book and everything that there are like specific specific ones that are indicated differently that require specific things and then it doesn't actually say which indicator is re requires which thing which different thing <laughs> oh boy there's some there's a hole up there and I'm I'm intrigued by it um, mr. intrigued by holes that's me I think 
get the feeling I've just got to go up and up and up a little bit. Maybe not. Oh boy, I'm kind of stuck going up now. Oh wait, you know what? This is this is a loop. It should be a loop, like the. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm really glad that this game is being lenient with me here. Yeah, this is looping. Okay, like uh, remember the uh, the cool thing I was talking about at the start, where um, there's there's rotary stuff going on, and now I've looped all the way back around to the. Here we are. Okay, cool. We got it out. I think. Or not. Well, up we go. Unless we have to go back to the r left. That might be the case. Be pretty interesting, I guess. Anyways. But, um... What was it? So, so some of the holes require bearings, and I have to go out and buy plastic beads, which I don't think I'll be able to get uh, individually anyways, but, you know, it'd be really cool if I could have, like, a good count for what all I need. Um... Again, I don't really think I'm going to get a good count for what all I need. But, you know, it'd be really nice if I could. Am I just expected to... Yes, I am. Very cool, actually. Let's save the game here, like I keep saying I will. Anyways. Um, and I get an axe. Very cool. I like axes. The axes are nice and cool and good. But, uh, I don't know... Like, there are a lot of holes of each type, and I'm probably just going to read the manual and kind of deduce it. But, uh... It's, like, there aren't even, like, step-by-step -step directions for this thing. Uh, which I don't dislike, except that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so... Oh my gosh, this is actually... This is laid out in the most epic way. It goes right over my head, like a lot of things. And um, I can hit it back, like a lot of things. Oh boy, where's the enemy coming from? Background? Background enemy. Oh my gosh, what in the heck? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. Okay. I really wasn't expecting the thing. I really was not expecting Marvel's The Thing. I've got plenty of magic in me, so let's just um, smack him over and over again. I've got to say, I really like this game. <laughs> okay. There we go. There we are. I really like that there is a save point here. Please tell me that he just goes away. Ooh, very nice. But, yeah. You know, I gotta figure that out, or the clock won't work, which I'm honestly probably gonna use it as a mechanical sculpture more than a clock, but, you know, I gotta make this thing, it's been years, I've had it for years, I actually, I've had it for so long I forgot I had it and bought it again. I have two copies of this thing. Very cool. John Smith Rudolph, I think is the guy's name. Make your own working paper clock. Very cool set. Apparently notoriously difficult. <laughs> Not that I have a problem with that, because I've done things like, uh... I don't have a good example, actually, if I was going to make a tenacity argument, but you know what? Let's just leave that for the next episode. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'm going to be very mad. I'm going to be very upset. I will be, I will be peeved. I will be ticked. I might, I might, uh, I might, um, find, uh, find another use for this nice, uh, number one blade exacto knife that I recently bought so I could do this clock book. And maybe another use for this super glue brush and nozzle gorilla glue that was probably overkill for a paper clock set that I bought. Now, I'm not sure how exactly that can really be a threat. Um,. But let's just say that it is. Actually, I guess let's say that it isn't. Let's say that I never threaten my audience. <laughs> um, it definitely doesn't happen at the end of every episode. Uh, for legal purposes, that's not a that's not a thing that happens. All right. And if you try and say that it is, um, you know what's going to happen.
I think you know. I think you know what's going to happen. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.